is the beast. This looks new. It wasn't here before. There's clouds over there. Is that out of focus? Who knows? No, it isn't. It would help if I took my sunglasses off. I'm here at the park. Just come down because we're getting our first days of summer now in June. Uh, Mid-June, I think. 16th of June. I guess our first summery day was like the 14th of June. So we before that we just had loads of rain and it hasn't been very summery at all. I was thinking about doing another hike up. Horrorbridge to Yelverton across the aerodrome. This thing is balancing on my Bandridge camera bag, so I don't really have a mini lightweight tripod I can bring, which kind of helps. I don't have that. Still reading the time ships. There's something weird about all the clouds today. Like, it was cloudier earlier, but now it's sort of clear and hot. But all the clouds that remain are kind of bubbly and uh, I don't know. Gradient edges. Is that, is that Mia? There's like three bees on that. What is going on? They're like... done this hike since before I went to live in Bath uh, in early 2014. I'm in Horbridge and I'm gonna walk to Yelverton. A little dog just approached me without an owner and then ran off into the woods again. It's quite nice around these parts. Probably be another Battlefield 1 map like Argonne Forest. But with a different layout. Here's North Hessery. Saw a guy, cyclist with a GoPro on his helmet, like some sort of Google van man. You know, for Google Earth, but a man. Here I have hay fever. <laughs> I've often thought of the concept of islands of warmth quite often. It's something you can apply to a lot of things like jumping between hydrothermal vents or going from planet to planet where it's habitable. But I've not often thought of the concept of islands of cool. And I think that's where I am now. I think that's a concept probably more familiar with the Australopithecines or the Prehumans or something like that. Who would see a lot of these really hot days and would jump from shade to shade, climbing down from their trees, avoiding saber-toothed tigers. I'm not sure how how many things you can apply the concept of islands of cool or coldness to. Life usually favours warmth. It's 
kind of hard to get the shot you want in bright sunlight because the uh, daylight splashes off the LCD screen and so you can't actually see what the shot you've got is. This reminds me of Independence Day and Independence Day always reminds me of this. Bubbly clouds, very hot days, hot summer days, big plains, big open areas, masses of sky. Too many flies trying to land on me right now. It's kind of hard to talk in this heat, kind of hard to think of what it is I want to say. So it's not just that I'm conscious of public and things. I like this thingy. Oh, there's so much litter here though, so much. Could be part of a World War II bunker or something. Seeing as we're near the aerodrome. some shade. Ooh. <laughs> it's very hot uh, walking the trail today and uh, I to, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying the shady parts. Um, as soon as I step out into the heat again, burning, it's really hard going. <laughs> but it's way better than winter. A typical scene near Plymouth. Not so good. It's time to come to the aerodrome now. Oh, Path Jinx left. Didn't realise that. So I realized that when I put my camera on my gigantic tripod, which is probably meant for bigger cameras, but I, I use it for you guys, um, it doesn't fit in this little space on my desk here that I've arranged, and it's a bit too tall for this background. And when I was in the park, I was balancing my little camera on a bag, so I didn't want to bring a gi giant tripod to put on the table. I needed like a fairly sturdy shorter tripod so I went after I went on my hike today I went to the photography shop and the guy in there was really helpful and uh, he not only told me where I could get a wide-angle lens that fit my camera so I might be getting that now um, I also got this little tripod sorry I'm holding a CD so you can see you guys can you see yourself? Can you see what you guys look like? 
look at the reflection so yeah <laughs> this is uh, what you guys look like right now it's like a, a smaller tripod that can be very small to fit on a on a table and still be kind of head height so that's a little uh, it, it didn't cost much either it's a little cool buy that I got today while I was out and as a result I can do more things with my camera and place it places when I'm out and it's pretty light so that's pretty cool